In today's HealthCast, a closer look at a condition that affects one in eight Americans, social anxiety. Local 10 medical specialist Christy Kruger has the story of how one South Florida father is working to turn a personal tragedy into help for others. Donny Osmond, Ricky Williams, Barbara Streisand, and Adele, just a few of the famous faces behind an often misunderstood disorder called social anxiety. A lot of people have it, and uh, some people don't even realize it. Jeffrey Kukas watched his youngest son Andy struggle with this condition for years, starting in high school. At the age of 30, Andy took his own life. You know, he did write us a note when he took his life, um, and he said he just couldn't stand the pain anymore. Well, there's a really strong link between social anxiety and depression. But unlike depression, people with social anxiety, by the very nature of their disease, rarely seek help. Dr. Jill Aaron Reich May says drugs used for depression, as well as therapy to change negative thoughts and behavior, can ease social anxiety in up to 90% of patients. On the one hand, it's so wonderful that we have these treatments available that can help so many kids with social anxiety. Unfortunately, a lot of children don't receive those treatments. After Andy's death, Jeff and his wife started a foundation in his name. It was the first and remains the only national organization focused on social anxiety. People with social anxiety have to want to help themselves. You have to uh, go through uh, the pain of treating yourself. Now, the foundation is sponsoring an event open to the public tomorrow afternoon to raise awareness and provide support for social anxiety. For a link to all the details on that event, look for the story in the health section of local10.com. With your health news, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News.